Altus Brands, Cass Creek Outdoors, Harmon Sets, and Quickie Quiver proudly present Uncle Bucky's Outdoor Adventure. out this freak rack bucket. Thank you Lord for the life of this deer. Well hey everybody, it's September 29th. I'm getting dressed, showered up, cleaned up, ready to go out to my urban zone to do an evening bow hunt. I'm going to use my decoy. I think it's about that time. I've got in my one area this buck right here with a three or four different stickers on him. I've got him coming out in the evening right about dark time so I think as we progress he's getting a little bit earlier every day so hopefully catch him right before dark come out get him to come into the decoy and we can get a shot on him and get him on video but you never know until you go out so let me get showered up cleaned up and I'll catch you back out in the Jeep out in the Jeep and uh, before I head out as always I want to thank the Lord for an opportunity Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for all you do and all you bless with us. Lord, I thank you for the healing of our friend Clay. And it just shows your awesomeness. And when someone trusts you, what can be done through prayer? And I just thank you for that, Lord. And I just ask that you watch over the family as I'm going. Watch over all my friends right now that are having turmoil in their life, Lord. And bring them calmness and, and stillness and, and peace to their heart. And I just thank you for all your blessings ask that you watch over all of us hunters tonight, and if it's your will, let us be successful. No matter what, we give you the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I made it out. Now I'm getting ready and getting out to my stand. Let me show you my setup for today. I'm set up on a clear cut that's just 30 yards wide. I have a open field to the west of me that has my food plot on the left side. The deer will come out, come down the path toward the clear cut. Behind me, I have an oak flat with lots of acorns this year. The deer tend to feed down in the acorn flat, then make their way up to the clear cut. I face a decoy toward me. This way, as the bucks approach, they give me a broadside or slightly quartering to shot. I keep a picture of my mom on my bow in memory of her and to constantly remind me of all she inspired me to do. Plus, she was afraid of heights, so I like to take her up there with me. I've been asked by several viewers about my bow setup, so here we go. I shoot a Matthews Outback with an IQ bow sight, whisker biscuit rest, X-Factor stabilizer and limb dampeners, gold tip hunter arrows, and Rage Extreme broadheads. Well, just a little bit after 7, I notice a deer coming out of the woods, and I notice right away by the rack that it's a deer that we call Droopy. September 16th, 
I had him come all the way to 18 yards broadside, unable to shoot because I had not yet filled my Ernabuck doe tag. Normally, the bucks will come around to the right of me and swing around to get to the decoy, like the deer did in 2012. Well, Droopy had to be different. As you hear, he starts to walk, and instead of going to the right, he starts to head to the left and cut around to check out the decoy. Well, we're almost to the end of my camera's capabilities to shoot in low light. So I get ready, swing to my left, and now watch as the action unfolds. Watch right here. Hey, just got back to my Jeep, uh, got changed, called my buddy TJ, he lives real close here, I'm gonna go pick him up, we're gonna come back, we're gonna get on the blood trail, and we're gonna recover that buck, and I'm pretty sure it's Droopy, the buck that came out uh, the first night I hunted out here, so, anyway, I'm anxious to see him, so, um, I know he crashed, but you know, you always got doubts, so, hold on, I'm gonna get TJ, we're gonna track him, and hopefully we'll see you back here in a little bit at the, at the buck. Well... With the help of my buddy TJ Unger from Dominator 365, I was able to recover this buck. He didn't go far, as you heard on the film. He was about 75 yards behind the stand and he crashed here. Uh, Rage Extreme did a great job. Uh, didn't get a total pass or I hit his opposite shoulder, but the arrow stayed in him, probably a good 17 to 18 inches of it. Uh, double lunged him, he came down here. A good blood trail, which I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, explain the shot a little bit to you. About seven o'clock, I heard a deer coming in behind me. So I turned around to look at it. Never got to see it because it kind of got in this thick brush back here. Turned around, and the only reason I know the time is because TJ was hunting a property about three miles away and I was texting him. And I looked at my phone and it said 703. I looked straight ahead and the buck that TJ named Droopy was standing about 40 yards away staring at the decoy. I was able to get the shot on the video. Uh, you saw the buck run off, and we, we recovered him down here. Tomorrow I'll show you the blood trail, and I'm just real thankful. But as always, i got to thank the good Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the life of this buck and for the opportunity to be out here in your great outdoors. have good friends like TJ to help me track it and help record tonight. And I just thank you for all your blessings, and we give you all the glory and honor. Amen. Some of the dried blood. He's making his way down through here. Here's some more of it. As you can tell, there's still a good amount of blood. Nice pink lung blood. You know you're not far off when you see chunks of lung. Here we go, guys. Fish away in. Looks like 196, 197. We thought he was in a 180, 185 range, but wow, everything we thought. Sure felt it pulling him out. Well, I was happy to get my number one target buck on the ground. Unfortunately, as you saw, he broke off the one side of his main beam, and I don't know what exactly had happened, whether it was a fight, a tree, or when he crashed, but he's still a great buck. I'm still happy to be able to take him. And right before we leave, I want to take a moment to ask you 
to please wear your safety harnesses. Our good friend Gary from the bear hunt a couple years ago fell out of a tree stand 35 feet and was not wearing a harness. Fortunately for Gary, he landed in a manner that uh, saved his life, but it broke his elbow and he's sore and he's going to be hurting for quite some time. It takes a minute of your time each time you hunt to put the safety harness on and to take it off and to latch into the tree. A minute of your time could save years out of work, a death, serious injury, a lot of complications for your loved ones, and negative publicity for our sport. Every time people read about tree stand accidents, it just puts another negative mark on our sport. So please, I'm asking you, it's your free will to do what you want, but I'm asking you to take the time to put a safety harness on and try to eliminate all the accidents we can. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. As always, take care, be safe, and you know, most of all, have fun. My God is awesome. My God.